I'm Kristen Shaughnessy. A breakthrough study found a key nutrient that helps keep your heart healthy, but you need to take the supplement. Vitamin K is extremely important for keeping calcium in the bones where it's supposed to go. K2 is so important, Dr. Dennis Goodman has written a book about it. He says calcium is a good supplement for heart health, but it must be combined with K2 so the calcium gets to the bones and not into your arteries where it can cause blockages and damage. If the calcium is sitting in the arteries instead of the bone where it needs to be, there's increased risk of calcification in the arteries. It is K2 you want. Look for the words Mena Q7. There is also K1, but that isn't good for people on blood thinners. It can put them at an increased risk for clots. I am ex extremely comfortable in saying that if you're taking calcium, you're taking vitamin T, D, you should take vitamin K2, and it has to be in the form of Mena Q7, and that's because it's the, the most absorbable and it's the one that works the best in the body. Look for a combined supplement like vitamin D or calcium with K2. Many bottles don't have it. Getting enough K2 through food is very difficult. Very little food that's got enough K2 okay. in it. Um, it turns out the most, the highest concentrations are in Japanese natto. It's a type of soy. And for us in the Western world, it's a terrible taste. And we can't really tolerate it. So the people who take it in Japan, they've shown they have a low incidence of, of, of osteoporosis and bone problems. Dr. Goodman says taking K2 could add years to your life. See you next time. Kristen Shaughnessy, Time Warner Cable News.